Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the progress that I've made towards getting our house renovated. Our house has mold in it. We're living in a camper in the yard and I have to make progress. It's been a year of not making progress. I'm going to tell you how I've failed and also show you the reason I'm not hopeless and the steps I'm taking moving forward. There's a little fawn. Last month I set goals for the house. They were ambitious goals. My goal for week one was completely empty the house. I almost completed that in week one. My goal for week two was prep for grading and potentially start the grading outside the house. My goal for week three and four of the month, and this we're in I guess week four of the month. My goal for week four of the month was to finish gutting the house. And I haven't even started it yet. It's always nice to start a job off on the right foot, so we'll start by trying to tear the rack off the top of Brianna's van by catching a six by six on the kid's swing. Well, we didn't just try to tear it off, we tore it off. Every time I drive through here or bring a truck through, I move the swing out of the way or watch it very carefully. But this time I got distracted by the mud because my tires were slipping. I can move those things by putting them on my shoulder, but what I can do and what I'm willing to risk as far as hurting my back, those are two different things. That's a heavy thing, isn't it? Hey, do you want? Do you know how much that weighs? It says it right on the front. Twenty tons. That's forty thousand pounds. You're incredibly strong, buddy. Okay, the job that I'm trying to do this late afternoon is put this shed up on skids so I can drag it. Basically, I need to build a sled underneath that shed. Guys, you're gonna need to get off in just a second, okay? Because I'm working right here. Okay, good job. That's kind of the idea, but I'm freehanding it, so we'll see how I do. Okay, I think that's actually pretty good. I feel more like a chainsaw artist than I ever have before and I'm really liking it. So you might wonder why I'm doing this. The reason I'm doing it is because there's mold under our house. And part of the reason there's mold under our house is because the hill drains down into the house. So I actually need to create slope from here back this way down a little bit away from the house. And then I need to create a drain that goes from way out there coming towards us and curves around here. And so the shed needs to move. It's not like we didn't make any progress. In fact, I got some good things done. The fact is though, I'm two weeks behind on my goals. And far beyond that, 
I'm actually way more than two weeks behind on my goals because I've realized that I made the wrong goals initially. One of a personal flaw that I have is to think that I can just go take action and get things done without the proper planning. And I'm actually very good at that. It's one of my strengths to be able to execute ambitious projects very quickly and to do really hard pushes of work and labor and really knock things out. I'm very spontaneous and in many ways that's the strength. Sometimes though it makes things challenging. I got completely bogged down in my week two goals, prepping for grading. First of all, I underestimated how large the jobs were. They took me a lot longer than I thought they would. And when it came to getting the shed lifted, it was a slow process. It wasn't just the complexity of the job though, it was the reality of my day every day. Now, I quit my job last month. I'm losing track of time now that I don't have to show up to work. And it's been wonderful. It's been a dream come true, and I'm very thankful I'm here. But as you make these major changes in your life, you also have to adjust your schedule. And something that I wasn't very good at before, but it's really hitting home now, is that I'm not very good at um, chunking out my time in the day, scheduling, and getting things done in those slots. Now that I'm home all the time, it's just worse than ever. And I'm having a great time, but I'm not being as productive as I would like to be. Now this is a light building. I've lifted a lot heavier buildings with these jacks. Whoa. They don't weigh 20 tons, they can potentially lift 20 tons or 40,000 pounds. This may not actually be enough to go under it, but I think it will because this is a light, such a light building. Up under here, I think there's enough room for that. It's not ideal to use blocks at all unless you're sandwiching in between wood, but I don't think I have enough space for a wood layer. These guys are disconnecting this fence charger, which is on the shed. There goes all my help. Actually, one of my helpers decided to stay. Thanks, bud. Just for a minute. Just for a minute? Okay, we've got that jack over here, and now we're moving to this corner. Well, you'll see, we got we got to attach this to it today. Let's see, this might work. That may get it. Let's just, let's see what happens when we start cranking these things. Okay, we're going for it. Chang, chang, chang. Do you see that rising just the tiniest bit every time you go? This is actually working so far in this corner. Do you see this rock moving here? Yeah. We've got takeoff! This rock is free, so that's what we need to see for right now. Okay, I'm so glad this is working so far. Alrighty. Here, watch. No fingers underneath it. This is free, though. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go crank this other side and lift it a little higher. Keep going. So what I'm gonna do is actually slide this out and set it right here. And then I'm gonna remove this, at least this top stone on this other side. Now we have this crazy cantilevered look. This whole end of the shed is floating and sitting on these two jacks. Part of this is just normal life. If you're, if you have kids and you have projects at your house, and we have maybe more than the average person, we have animals and stuff, which and we value all those things. We're, we're holding on to all those things because they're very important to us. But if you have a life, you're busy. That's just a fact. So part of this is just normal. There is a problem though, and it's a deeper problem. It's a deeper planning problem that I've neglected to realize and prioritize embracing the solution. And that problem is the setting for everything we're doing. Another thing that slowed me down is Bree and all the kids got sick. I'm the only one who didn't get sick. They all got a GI bug and that was week three of September and it pretty much took out my week. I got some stuff done around taking care of them and just 
running running the house or trying to run the house but it was um it slowed me down a lot and gosh i'll tell you if my kids are sick and my wife is sick that's where i need to be and that's what i need to be doing so i don't feel bad about that at all that's just doing what i have to do to love my family how are you doing i'm good are you feeling better oh yeah you were sick for like four or five days i know it's crazy you were down and out yeah i feel great i'm sure i don't look very good i need to shower and brush my teeth and all this well you've been busy this morning yeah I'm actually not sure if there's enough space here. We'll find out though. No. Okay, I'm gonna jack this end a little more. Let's see if we can get a few, another inch or two. Let's see if we can get it up in there now. Okay, well, haha, <laughs> that's this is great, isn't it? Okay, it's in its basic position. I need to shift it this way some. inches here, 11 and a half inches here. I actually like that. the shed back down and get my jacks out so I can use them on the other side which is actually a lot harder <laughs> it's a lot harder the other side like that. It's but it's the same concept <laughs> these old buildings will complain when you do this to them but generally that's all they do midway through the month I realized I need help help with getting organized help with planning and we I had a session with Brianna she's very good at these things where I sat down and we planned out stuff and and it was it was productive but i realized in the middle of that is that I, that's not the stress that i want to be on her is taking care of me through this process and making sure that i can plan things out the way i need to and so i started thinking what are the alternatives something that's been on my mind for months and just a theme in my life that has come up over and over again in my thinking has been partnership. So I started thinking, well, who, who can I partner with on this house? Because I don't just need someone to help me plan the house. I, I also need someone, you know, to help me work through why I struggle so much with getting things organized and getting things planned and, and dealing with, say, like fear over calling people on the phone. Even though I'm, I'm not afraid to talk to people, but I have huge anxiety about making phone calls. and have neglected phone calls that I needed to make. And then I thought of the person. I thought of my friend Webb. Here's the cool thing with my friend. We've known each other for years. He is a aspiring life coach. He's it's like his core skill is just compassion, wisdom, and insight into your life. And he does that honestly in his friendships. He shares so much wisdom, but he's always wanted to pursue life coaching. Here's the next level though, get this. He's also a construction site manager for building and renovating houses. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this before. So I called him on the phone and I said, hey, I know you don't have any clients right now, but why don't you take me on as a client? We're gonna deal with two things. We're gonna work on 
planning the house and building an eight to 12 week schedule into the future of that's gonna push forward every single week where I have goals and then I make sure that I don't miss anything that I need to do now for that thing that needs to happen 12 to even 16 weeks out. And he was game. So we went and met and it was incredible. We talked for an hour and a half. We took notes. We didn't actually even start the scheduling now. I just dumped. This is where I'm at. This is what's going on. This is what I'm behind on. Here's what I'm struggling with. Here's the plans with the house. And the cool thing about him is he can understand it. It's not like he is just a life coach and it's just and it's not like he's just a no nonsense construction manager. He's got both. And I'm just blown away with what we're doing. I have high hopes for it and I'll meet with him again about a week after this next meeting and we'll start building this plan for the house. And this is going to help you learn the habit of managing time, managing skills. You're going to have lists of of you know material coming in things that are on order reference this page and go done done not done you want to do that i am going to do that soon we just put that on my to-do list and it's on the after the house list yeah absolutely <laughs> we're gonna do it yeah i mean there's got to be someone who does like tandem that teaches you how to do it to Webb my situation. This one thing came out to him and he said, you need more daily freedom to complete projects. And so you need to find a way to get that freedom. And I so badly wanted him to understand and conveyed to him, this isn't actually anything I need to demand from Brianna. She's not telling me that I need to be, you know, changing diapers. She's not telling me that I need to be cooking or washing dishes. What's actually happening is she's just struggling because the situation she's in is so hard. So what came out of that meeting is me taking on the priority of getting our setting into a place that will actually work for me to be productive. And what that means is moving out of the camper into a house. That comes with huge challenges though. It's, there's huge challenges because we kind of tried this before. We moved down and stayed with the Rhodes family in the hauler and I got zero done. But then again, we were so far from our house. I spent so much time driving back and forth and I was so stressed during that time. The change in thinking though is how can I work harder, push harder, get more done in a situation where I'm obviously failing to how can I change the situation so that I can succeed? So we made some priorities, but the number one priority is getting out of the camper and into a house so Brianna can prosper so that I can have freedom and not have to fight to get away from the family. Because guess what? When Brianna's in a house, she does amazing. And that's, that's, where she just like blossoms in productivity and it's honestly just been a struggle to have any overflow in the camper because everything is hard and the most basic expression of how hard it is is if you want to cook a meal for the family you have to cook it in two pans and it, and it takes twice as long and if you want to cook two dishes and you're going to make two dishes that are two ovens full that would be four times as long as just sliding two giant pans into a normal sized oven. That's how much slower everything is. It's four times uh, slower. For those of you doubting the integrity of this old shed, and even I myself had wondered if it'll survive this move, look what I just did accidentally. I'm jacking right there, and this corner is six inches 
on nothing. Basically, it has a huge amount of strength, diagonal strength. So I lifted that corner and this one actually came up. This doesn't mean we're gonna entirely quit working on our house while we look for a house to get into. What it does mean is that I'm not gonna try to have massive work weeks until we're in a house because it's not gonna happen. It's gonna kill us with stress. I'm gonna feel like I'm constantly robbing my family because they actually need me right now but we are going to make the small steps that we need to so that when that time comes and when I can do massive work weeks, which is what I long to do and what I need to do, everything's set up for it to roll. So out go all my four week goals. I'm gonna keep chipping away for now on all the preparatory steps. Guys, thanks for joining us. I don't have anything to share other than what's actually happening and what's right inside here. So. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.